Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set the default personal and company preferences for reports and graphs created in QuickBooks by changing the settings within the Preferences dialog box. You can access these settings by selecting Edit Preferences from the menu bar to open the Preferences dialog box. In the Preferences dialog box, click the Reports and Graphs icon in the category listing shown at the left side of the Preferences window. Then set default Personal Report Preferences on the My Preferences tab and set default Company Preferences on the Company Preferences tab. Click the My Preferences tab to begin. If you want QuickBooks to prompt you to modify report options prior to displaying a report, check the Prompt Me to Modify Report Options before opening a report checkbox. In the Reports and Graphs section, select how you want QuickBooks to behave when data within a report needs to be refreshed. You can select either Prompt Me to Refresh, Refresh Automatically, or Don't Refresh. If you select the Refresh Automatically option button, then when you change a report parameter, QuickBooks will refresh the report to show the change immediately. In the Graphs Only section, you can check the Draw Graphs in 2D Faster checkbox to show graphs in 2D versus 3D if desired. To use Patterns versus Colors when rendering graphs, check the Use Patterns checkbox. Then click the Company Preferences tab. In the Summary Reports Basis section, you can select the default display of summary reports by choosing either the Cash or Accrual option button. In the Aging Reports section, select either the Age from Due Date or Age from Transaction Date option button to choose the date to use as the basis for aging reports. In the Reports Show Items By section, select the desired option button to set the display of items within reports. In the Reports Show Accounts By section, select the desired option button to set the display of account names within reports. For both items and accounts, you can select Show either the name only, the description only, or both the name and description. To choose which account balances are included in the Operating, Investing, or Financing sections within the Statement of Cash Flows report, click the Classify Cash button to open the Classify Cash dialog box. Here you can select an account shown and then check either the Operating, Investing, or Financing columns to assign its balance to the selected section of the Statement of Cash Flows report. Make any changes you need and then click the OK button to return to the Preferences dialog box. You can combine multiple items from a transaction shown within a report into a single line by default by checking the Collapse Transactions checkbox. Note that this may cause report generation to take longer within QuickBooks. You can also set the default appearance of the header and footer and fonts and numbers used within QuickBooks reports by unchecking the Default Formatting for Reports checkbox and then clicking the Format button to open the Report Format Preferences dialog box. Here you can set default report preferences for the header, footer, and fonts and numbers by clicking the desired tab and making any changes you want to set as the defaults for reports. When finished, click the OK button to set the defaults. Note that if you would like to review setting these report properties, please see Lesson 15.5, Modifying a Report. After you have set the default graph and report preferences as desired, click the OK button within the Preferences dialog box to apply the preferences. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.